Hi, thank you for joining me today in praying Psalm 119. My name is Ijoma Okoli, and today is day one. Psalm 119 is a great psalm. It's actually the longest chapter in the Bible, and I'll be reading mainly from the New King James Version. So I would read through the verses, and I'll make the declarations after. And it's a 22-day journey. And like I said, today is day one. So thank you, Lord, that your word is living and active. And thank you that even as we go on this journey of reading the Psalms over these 22 days, that, Lord, you will help us and we open our hearts to receive everything that, Lord, you want to say to us and what you want to do in us. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you breathe upon every word that the seed of your word will bring forth a mighty harvest, and that all the glory, honor, adoration will be yours now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. So today I'll be reading from verse 1 to 8. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. You have commanded us to keep your precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were direct. Oh, that my ways were, were directed to keep your statutes. Then I will not be ashamed. When I look into all your commandments, I will praise you with uprightness of heart. When I learn your righteous judgments, I will keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. Amen. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you help us to be people of integrity, that we will walk undefiled and follow all your instructions. Help us to be people that seek you with all our heart, people who obey your laws, your commands, fully and quickly. Let us be quick to obey at all times. Lord, give us the grace to walk in your ways only and not to compromise with evil with with evil help us O oh lord that lord we would you know con, con, our actions will consistently reflect your decrees that we will not say one thing with our lips and our hearts are far away from from you lord incline our hearts to yours O oh god that when we compare our lives with your commands father lord May we not be put to shame. May our lives be a true reflection of your word. Purge and cleanse our hearts, O Lord, that as we lift our voices in praise and in thanksgiving, that our hearts are right, that our hearts are upright, O God. Lord, we will obey your decrees by your grace. Lord, do not give up on any of us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we have prayed. Amen and amen. So I'd like to say thank you for joining me in day one. And tomorrow we'll be praying the second part for day two. Thank you and God bless you.